today I want to report a great victory. You might be asking, what is the great victory, Robert? Simple. I have found the ginkgo tree. I've been looking for this tree all day. Well, actually for the last couple hours. And not just any ginkgo tree. A ginkgo tree with some fruit, some seeds that can be harvested. So this is a great find. It's October 31st, Halloween. A lot of this stuff is gone. So while I'm out here harvesting, let me make a quick video on how to identify the ginkgo tree and what you can do with this fruit. First, okay, it's the ginkgo tree. In Korean, it's Unhang Namu. The tree is very popular in Asian culture because of its fruit. Give you a nice little picture of those leaves there. The fruit is used, and I say fruit, it's really the nuts that are encased in this fleshy outer material. The fleshy outer material protects the seed inside. And I'm wearing gloves because this um, fleshy material tends to cause some people to have, it irritates the skin. So years ago when I was an English teacher at the middle school I worked at, Suckbo, we would go harvesting these things and everybody had gloves and I didn't know why at the time I just played along you know hey thanks for the gloves I'll put them on I'll go harvest but later when I did research I found out oh this stuff's like the oat namu which is the lacquer tree it irritates your skin it feels like poison ivies on your skin okay now not everybody's allergic to it some people are not allergic to this but me I want to err on the side of caution so I got some gloves on but to extract this all you simply do is just squeeze it and doing my iPhone here so I gotta be careful and it just pops out like that then you want to wash it off so let it soak in water run it through a faucet whatever you choose but get this stuff this fleshy stuff off of it now once you do that and it dries feel free to either eat it raw or roast it and most of the time I've had it like slightly roasted that's how the local Koreans seem to like serving it up and you know anybody who's ever read any saw a commercial or anything about it knows it's supposed to cure you know make you smarter give you better cognitive ability help you with diabetes so many things honestly i can't really tell you if some of these claims work or not all i can tell you is it's a popular food in korea and in like china and even i think like thailand japan they eat it a lot it's very popular what i can tell you though is the koreans told me is don't eat more than three a day because it's kind of like eating apples. You know, apples, you supposedly, because it's so high in vitamin A, if you eat too many, it's going to be poisonous for you. It's like a ginkgo. Don't eat too many. And I've seen that substantiated by, for all it's worth, Wikipedia had a comment about that too. So I would recommend, you know, hey, if you are going to eat these, like actually get the real fruit here, not like a processed medicine, do limit to three a day, just for your sake. But let's talk about identification. The fan leaf has a single lobe and you know it looks like a fan it's hard to forget once you see this thing also again looking at the leaves they have that yellow hue to them right very distinctive easy to spot from the road so looking down here ginkgo tree ginkgo tree ginkgo tree there's no red there's no red shades there's no green at this time of the year it's going to be yellow very easy to spot um, another feature about this that makes it easy, well, kind of easy to spot. When you look at a ginkgo tree, it has like a gray bark on it. You'll see the gray bark on this tree. And let's go down this tree here too. See? Gray bark. So to help not to confuse it with a chestnut or an oak tree, which has the brown with some red hues in there. And also, as the tree gets older, the furrows, that is the grooves, get very, very deep, like this one. See how deep these furrows are? I mean, it's so deep in here that it looks like this outer bark just wants to peel off right there, break off. So, I would say this looks like a very old ginkgo tree. Nice there. Look at those leaves. Pretty tree, actually, really good to look at this time of the year. And of course, you've got these nuts.
Sorry for that. No pun intended. It just came out that way. <laughs> but uh, he literally had the nuts, the seeds of these things hanging around the tree. And you can't, I can't do you justice on camera. But when you're near a ginkgo tree, it stinks, okay? It's not too bad now because these are sparse. But once you get a group of these together, like when they're being harvested or it's the fresh... It's a fresh harvest, like in, say, early October, and these are all on the ground. It gets a real smell to it. And once you break this open, especially once they get... Oh, yeah, it's got the ginkgo smell. You can't... You won't forget it, okay? This is a tree that once you encounter it, you will not forget it. So anyway, I hope you learned something from this quick little identification of the ginkgo tree and its uses. Please leave your comments. If you know more information you can provide, hey, please provide it in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Out.